on one hand we have adani shares going up 20 to 26 percent in a day and on the other hand we have all these fertilizer stocks which are trading at very high volumes near their upper circuits and not just these a lot of other interesting news as well regarding pharma sector, LIC and the newest IPO. Hey guys, welcome to the Post Market Report and as you can see today's main highlight is Adani shares again. Uh, Adani Green Energy up almost, you know, uh, it's been upper circuits for three continuous days and today as well it has hit an upper circuit of almost uh, 26% and clearly as you can see over here not just Adani uh, Green Energy, also uh, Energy Solutions as well. Uh, these stocks, you know, particularly took a big hit, especially energy solutions, you know, uh, used to trade around, I think, 1,070 rupees, but was back to almost 700 and clearly a huge rally from whatever the low it made due to uh, its indications in the US. And if you just take a look at the other Adani shares, like, you know, parent companies such as Ports and Enterprise, we don't see such a huge rally. Yeah, clearly they're in the green territory, one, almost one and a half percent move in both the stocks. But what is actually driving such a huge, uh, you know, up move in this Adani Energy and Adani Energy, uh, you know, Solutions Limited is basically it's fundamental, I believe. If I just take you guys to the, you know, financials that is posted on company's website, we notice revenue from the power supply has increased year over year. And especially in the last year, uh, it almost made up to more than 50% uh, rise in its revenue from power supply. EBITDA that is earning before interest, you know, depreciation, taxes and amortization, whatever we have, clearly there as well, more than 50% growth and need not mention cash profit as well, they are cash rich, as you can see, uh, 3,100 crores worth of profit in the last year. Uh, and they also have a very concrete growth strategy and maybe this is what the market is weighing in at the moment. Not, not only do they have a very good track record with their financials, they have a very well laid out plan for growth strategy, as you can see, uh, they have that they're, they're actually looking at a CAGR of 37 and 31 percent for the coming you know till 2030 as you can see in FI 30 they have 50 gigawatts of production at a CAGR of 31 percent as you can see here and not just this the financials if we look at it it will give us a hint of why the market is behind stocks like energy and energy solutions and not you know Adani enterprise or port which are already you know th their price has been already weighed in they are I think they're trading it around their fair value but clearly in Adani energy we notice that looking at till FI 10 to FI 23 they were only at 4.9 percent growth rate but for the next few years for the next five to six years they're looking at about 6.5 percent growth so clearly they're aiming for a much bigger EBITDA uh, much bigger power energy supplies and as we can see they have a very well, load, well laid out plan as well so this could be one of the reasons why Adani Energy and Energy Solutions are trading at such high volumes and price and in the next of news that the biggest news that we have today is in the fertilizer stocks clearly uh, you know as you can see in the fertilizer and chemical Travancore limited up about 12 percent and then we have chambal fertilizer which is a mainstream stock these days in the you know fertilizer sector which is up up about 3.4 percent and not to mention gujarat state fertilizers which is also up about 4.8 to 5 percent and what is actually driving this such a huge rally in these fertilizer stocks it's very important to understand so we have something called as ravi that means basically if you have if you're growing wheat peas or any sort of grams of mustard this falls under rabi and basically they use this particular fertilizer called as dpa so basically back in 2022 itself analysts made a prediction that you know we might face some sort of dpa shortage but it's much bigger than what we suggested what we thought to so clearly government is now weighing in and they're mentioning you know what not only we are not going to uh, take care of the export of DAP that is de-ammonium phosphate we are also going to make sure that whenever any farmer in India uh, wants this for their Rabi growth so we'll basically have it available so they'll apparently take some proactive steps to make sure that DAP is in uh, is matching its demand in the market so clearly this is a very great news for all these fertilizer stock so this is clearly a great news for all the fertilizer stock next off we have all the former stocks today so uh, not a huge huge rally in former stocks but clearly you know we noticed all the former stocks in the green territory going about three to five percent and this actually comes after a report that was posted today where they say that the indian pharmaceutical industry could actually go up to 130 billion dollar industry by 2030 
and this is a huge deal because india's uh, you know currently what about the export out of that 27.85 billion dollars worth of export is from pharmaceuticals alone so clearly this holds a huge significance to us as an economic perspective as well and as you can see over here currently it is valued at 55 billion dollars so whatever the pharmaceutical companies that are there we export a lot of medicines to you know us uh, and russia as well you know companies like dr reddy and so clearly uh, they are mentioning that you know this report mentions it will grow to 130 billion dollars by 2030 and 450 billion dollars by 2050 that's close to a half a trillion dollars worth of market value so clearly market is reacting to this news today and we saw uh, a quick surge in all the pharmaceutical stocks and next off we saw 5% rally in bharati airtel a relatively stable stock we never you know uh, really see a huge surge in this or a fall in this particular stock but today after clsa gave up buy momentum that means basically all these foreign investment banking companies like clsa gives a buy or sell report what happens is that these tend these stocks tends to go up there will be a certain amount of foreign inflow into this particular stocks so clearly we were able to notice the same phenomenon happen again in today's market and next off uh, we have you know and you can also take a look at bharati airtel chart over here you know it was slowly going on its you know even though we noticed such a huge upward and you know volatility in the overall markets we barely noticed any of that in bharati airtel but today as soon as the clsa report came in we noticed a huge surge in the stocks so next off you know the center basically has approved to raise the fdi limit that means foreign direct investment of these insurance firm to 100% so we saw a small surge in all these insurance stocks mainly because yesterday we saw a huge fall in all these insurance stocks due to something called as irda regulations uh, you know i can even show you the chart of life insurance you know life insurance corporation that is lic which saw a huge surge today Uh, and this is mainly for two reason one they you know up the fdi uh, raising limit to 100% and the other news is basically lic is one of the og companies in the insurance industry they are not dependent upon other banks like for example hdfc life insurance is dependent upon hdfc bank to get the customers right but uh, lic has very diversified portfolios it doesn't solely depend upon any banks or anything of that sort to gain all of their insurance business so clearly and they are also looking to invest you know in a lot of other investment insurance companies as well which so comes as a positive news for the company and we saw market taking a note of this and today uh, as soon as the market opened we saw a huge surge in lic shares and finally we have uh, another ipo which got listed today enviro infra energies which actually gave a premium of 49% that's a quick 50% gain for anyone who applied for this ipo and got it so if you are one of those lucky chaps who got the allotment please let me know down below in the comment section if you are a trader following market calls and tips for day trading use our tool rnt research and trade all you have to do is link rnt to your trading account then just sit and relax turn trading into business at app.jwcindia.life check out description for more details disclaimer investments in the securities market are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing